Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are going to be going over 10 things everybody should know before playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet next week. We're going to go over in-game things, things about purchasing the game, bonuses and other items you can get to go along with Scarlet and Violet. All of it is going to be covered in the 10 things that I think people need to know the most that maybe don't already know about the ninth generation of Pokemon. But before we get into that, I just wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity. Got a specific skill you're trying to learn? Well, Skillshare is the perfect place for that. From photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing, and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. For me, Skillshare has courses that would be perfect for helping you learn new and exciting things about audio quality, editing, YouTube, graphic design, all of things that are very important for me and this channel. I've recently taken Mike and Maddie's course on sound design for creatives, whether that's on YouTube or other social media sites. Audio quality is incredibly important to me. It's incredibly important to content creation and some of their tools and tips have been incredibly helpful in making this channel run better and bring you guys better content. So if you're interested, head down to the description below because the first 1,000 people who use my link will get a one month free trial for Skillshare. Thank you so much to Skillshare for the support. Firstly, some superficial things. Different websites have a variety of pre-order bonuses for Scarlet and Violet. These include in-game items, physical statues of the starter Pokemon, and even a special edition OLED switch with designs around it based on Scarlet and Violet. Of course, this OLED switch does not come with the game, so this is a separate purchase, but the switch is tricked out with images of Coridon and Maridon, the logos of the two schools, and the colors of Scarlet and Violet. So if that is something that interests you, it's available now. You can go get it at any local retailer or online. All the pre-order bonuses, pretty much go from pokeballs to berries to physical rewards to sticker packs depending on the different nation you might live in if you're in the u.s europe or japan or somewhere else the pre-order bonuses also vary but those are out there so before just pre-ordering on amazon prime like i did do some research, see if there's a bonus that interests you and check that out as well. Secondly, Pokemon Home and Go connectivity is coming, but it's not coming until next year, 2023. Until then, you'll have to explore and battle with Pokemon that you catch in the Paldea region. We don't have a specific date, we don't have a time or a month when connectivity is coming. They've given us spring 2023, and that's all so far. Another one, the games are getting a day one patch. Most games get a day one patch now. That's not unusual. It is a pretty beefy day one patch, though. It is a one gigabyte update that I would highly recommend you updating your game with before even playing through. Due to the size of this update, a gig is pretty significant. Some people speculate that it could be... The multiplayer that might be a possibility so if that is indeed the case you're going to want it because the entire game it has the multiplayer capabilities playing with your friends battling trading exploring together all of that so be sure to push that update through when you first get the game another there are version exclusive pokemon and gameplay features as with every single pokemon game ever that has multiple versions scarlet and violet being one of them these are legendaries regular pokemon like cerulege and armor rouge names and colors of the school you'll be going to and playing through your adventure are different there are newly revealed past and future forms of pokemon such as dawn fan that are also exclusive to the different versions past pokemon seemingly in scarlet and future pokemon in violet so depending on which kinds of pokemon you want to add to your team how you want your adventure to be tailored keep in mind that these are some of the exclusive pieces of these games that are locked behind the different versions the professor that you have is also version exclusive for the first time so all of this is worth keeping in mind when you're playing through Scarlet and Violet for the first time. There are also some other benefits to having older Pokemon games. If you have save data on your Switch for any of the main series Pokemon games that have already come out to this point, you can unlock special phone cases for your Rotom phone. This is, of course, in-game. There are different ones for Legends Arceus, Sword and Shield, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and the Let's Go games, and you can switch them via an NPC in one of the towns in the game. There's a bunch of different skins for them, and when the Rotom phone appears in front of you and you use it to access various menus, it's going to appear aesthetically different. This doesn't change any of the functionality 
functionality of the Rotom phone, and that, that's worth keeping in mind. But if you want a different aesthetic for the phone, something different than the neutral base model, if you have these previous games, you can also unlock that. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. Something in game as well Terror Raid Battles. This is going to be the raid function of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Dynamaxing were the raids in Sword and Shield. And of course, this all comes from Pokemon Go and the raids they introduced back in 2016. Terror Raid Battles are in the game from the start. But there are specific event raids featuring individual Terra types that are going to be updated and patched into the game post launch. This was revealed on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website following the final, in their words, trailer that we got this recent week about the games. It's not complete yet. It's not going to come at launch. There's no word on how soon this feature is going to be added into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But if that's something you're interested in, it's worth knowing that it's coming. It's just not going to be there at the start. Another one pertaining to the overworld of Paldea are shiny Pokemon. Now, shiny Pokemon were obviously going to be in the game, but they were confirmed via a couple preview event people last month that in the overworld, you will be able to encounter shiny Pokemon at random. Now, the specific shiny hunting method for this generation that we usually get in every gen is not known yet, but I'm sure within a week or maybe three days after the game's launch and when shiny hunters get their hands on these games, we'll have a much better idea of what these methods are going to be. But overworld shinies are confirmed for Scarlet and Violet. As well as in Generation 8, it doesn't appear that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are going to have a full national dex. So I apologize to the one commenter who mentions it in every single one of my videos. So you're not going to be able to get every single Pokemon in the Paldea region. Now, of course, future DLC, Legends games, older remakes, this might increase the total number of Pokemon available in Generation 9 later on. But from the start, we're not going to have all 900 plus. So choose your team wisely. Another thing from older Pokemon games that is not coming back is the classic day and night cycle. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are not tethered to your Switch's internal clock. The games are more like Breath of the Wild and they have a dynamic day and night and time system that is not in conjunction with the 24 hour period. So days and nights are going to come and go faster in the Paldea region than they are in real life and in previous Pokemon games. This is probably because there's a variety of different events and Pokemon to encounter and things to do in the region dependent on the time of day. So when you're in multiplayer with people, the time will move, but it will not be dependent on your Switch system. So that's worth keeping in mind. Unlike Animal Crossing, you can't move around your Switch clock to change the internal time of Scarlet and Violet. That is going to be independent. Finally, there's no level scaling in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Some gyms and trainer battles are going to contain lower level Pokemon. And as you further explore, there will be higher level Pokemon and trainers to gym battles to fight. Just as some parts of the overworld will be easier early on, other parts will be more difficult. So while you can in this open world game, go around the Paldea region and explore at your will, go wherever you please, explore on the back of Koridon and Maridon at will, just note that just because your team might be, I don't know, level 25 at the time, the areas you explore will not be scaling dynamically to that level like some other open world games do. There's going to be more difficult gyms further ahead, and there's going to be easier gyms and easier trainers, easier wild Pokemon to encounter and catch near the starting areas. So you will have to continue to level up your team to keep up with the pace of the game and with the, the, the strength of who you're going to be battling. So that's worth keeping in mind. There is no level scaling. I've seen a lot of people throw around the idea of level scaling in these games. People have been hoping for level scaling in Pokemon for a long time. I used to be one of them, even though my opinion has changed a little bit. But Scarlet and Violet has no level scaling. It's not in this game. And that's my list. Those are 10 things that I think everyone needs to know going into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If there's any other things you guys think we should know before we play these games next week, please let me know down in the comments section below, and I will be sure to upvote or heart some of those comments if I think they're worthwhile for everybody else to know. So check the comments section if there's other things you might want to hear as well. What do you think of my list? Are you excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and all of the new features that are coming in the ninth generation? Let me know down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload because we're going to have a ton of Pokemon Scarlet 
scarlet and violet content coming in the next couple weeks. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.